All right, welcome back to Scene of the Crime. We've been gone for a couple months, but we're back. I'm the Oakland Press' Scott Bernstein. This is Dave Phillips, ace crime reporter. We are here uh, every week or so to take you behind the scenes, uh, online feature of the Oakland Press, behind the scenes of Oakland County's most important, intriguing, and interesting crimes, both current and past. Right, right, right now we're coming to you from Farmington Hills off of Orchard Lake Road on Rose Hill Drive in front of the Cipriano House where a pretty gruesome attack took place in early Monday morning. Uh, you have Tucker Cipriano, the 19-year-old son of the Cipriano family, being charged and accused of a first-degree murder, felony murder, uh, the murder of his father, as well as the uh, brutal attack, beating death with a or brutal attacks with a baseball bat of his mother and his brother. Uh, the dad is uh, was pronounced dead on site. The mother and brother are in critical condition right now at Botsford Hospital. Uh, Botsford Hospital. Tucker Cipriano, 19-year-old North Farmington dropout last year, has been charged with the crime, first-degree murder today in Oakland County Circuit Court. This crime happened in the early hours of Monday morning. Uh, and it's alleged that Tucker Cipriano had been kicked out of his parents' house and broke back in early uh, Monday morning around 2.30, encountered his father. There was an altercation. Uh, it's alleged that Tucker Cipriano beat his father to death with a baseball bat and then attacked his mother and his brother. Uh, Mitchell Young, uh, an accomplice, has also been charged. He's a 20-year-old from Kego Harbor. He's been, uh, he's been charged uh, as an accomplice in the crime. Uh, Dave, kind of tell us what you're hearing on your end. Well, uh, it's very possible that we can see more charges before this is all said and done. Uh, the two critical injuries, still pretty serious here a few days later. Um, we do know also that there's a lot of support behind those that are injured. Uh, a couple of prayer vigils, some Catholic Central students, fellow students with one of the victims have also turned out in big numbers. Uh, Robert Cipriano, uh, the deceased, was the uh, Dearborn School District's financial advisor. He was also a very prominent member of both uh, the Novi Detroit Catholic Central community and the North Farmington High School community. He had sons at both schools. Uh, I know that there was a, uh, as, early as, uh, as early as Tuesday night, I believe, or Monday night, uh, as early as Monday night, there was a uh, prayer vigil at, the, at, at uh, Mr. Cipriano's church, which I know a lot of kids that were friends with his sons came and showed support. Like you said, there's been really an outpouring support of, uh, uh, from the community. If you look behind us here, you can see the uh, uh, toxic uh, um, hazmat, hazmat uh, uh, van that's come here to clean up uh, a, a bloody crime scene uh, that you know we're still having rema uh, uh, reminders three days later. Uh, the hazmat's been here for a couple hours now cleaning up the blood. Uh, if you go to the side of the house, you can see on a window pane uh, a pretty chilling sign of uh, uh, some palm prints. It looks like someone was trying to, you know, possibly during the attack, to try to make it out of a window. And you can still, still see the palm prints here three days later. Uh, another thing I think we should mention, this crime maybe harkens back to an, uh, uh, something that Oakland County saw a couple years ago in Rochester Hills with the Dinkovich family where a son uh, stabbed his mother to death with a matricide. We have a, a alleged patricide here. Um, uh, Dave, kind of take us through what you think these next steps are. Uh, Mr. Cipriano and Mr. Young have both been arraigned today in Oakland Circuit County Court. Uh, where are we kind of going from here? Well, you know, typically cases like this take a long time to develop. Um, they certainly have their rights for a pre-exam conference within two weeks, but typically those are waived in cases like this. Uh, attorneys want to get more time, prepare, look over the information and things like that. Um, you know, we still have to go through the whole district phase. Uh, you've got to believe this is probably going to be bound over to Circuit Court at some point. Um, and uh, we're probably looking at a homicide trial, murder and, trial. And we could have a triple homicide, and just if, you know, hopefully not. We hope that the brother and the mother recover, but things aren't looking great right now. It's touch and go. Uh, just a little a little bit of background on Tucker Cipriano. As we said, he was 19, he's 19 years old. He dropped out of North Farmington last year. But uh, Mr. Cipriano, for the last couple years, has been... Um, battling both legal and drug problems, he's been in and out of rehab, in and out of jail, and he was actually uh, on parole, I believe, and uh, or, or probation, and he, he had violated a couple weeks ago, uh, didn't show up for an appointment he was supposed to have with the court. Uh, theoretically, he shouldn't have been, been on the street when this attack took place. Uh, his probation offer has been, has been suspended by the state, and unfortunately this might open up some doors for a possible wrongful death lawsuit down the line. Uh, we don't like to start you know, thinking that far down the line, but it's, you know, it's an issue right now. Right. All right, so we're wrapping stuff up here from the Cipriano house. Uh, Robert Cipriano is dead. Mrs. Cipriano and a son are both in critical condition at Botsford Hospital. We'll keep you updated here at the Oakland Press. Our thoughts and prayers go out to the Cipriano family. I'm Scott Bernstein. This is Dave Phillips. Check back next, with, check back next time at Scene of the Crime.